Breaking news, L.A. Sparks guard Requana Williams has been suspended 10 games for allegations of domestic violence. She was arrested April 29th in Florida for allegedly assaulting her ex-girlfriend. Deputies say after they separated the two, Williams grabbed a gun and pointed it at one of them before taking off in her car. A few years later. Arrested and accused of domestic violence, Las Vegas Aces guard Raquana Williams is facing charges including battery and assault against her wife. When professional male athletes are accused of domestic violence, it's all over the news. But the media goes silent when it's professional female athletes. Let's talk about this WNBA player who's been arrested for domestic violence charges. This is Requana Williams, a veteran WNBA player born in 1990. Now, she's a 5'7 point guard, and recently, in 2020, she won the WNBA championship with the Las Vegas Aces. Now, according to police reports, in July 2023, Requana Williams had accused her spouse of being unfaithful in their marriage. Things started getting heated, and Williams' wife called 911. Uh, domestic dispute, my wife. You're having an issue with your wife? Yes. Okay, what's your wife's name? Uh, Raquana Williams. Was anybody physically hit or pushed? Yes, me. Hi. Um, yeah, so I'm actually a licensed psychologist, and I have um, a client who has been texting me the mental health history and is making statements. Now, when police got there, Williams' wife told them that Williams had left the home during the argument and allegedly took several of her personal belongings, including her cell phone. Williams then logged onto the wife's phone and allegedly found evidence of the wife cheating. Williams, upset at what she had just seen, returned to the residence and started arguing with her wife. Now, the wife alleges that Williams punched and kicked her and attempted to strangle her. Now, when officers arrived at the scene, they documented some injuries, including a scratch on Williams' wife's throat, a bruised left eyebrow, and scratches on her right thumb. Here is the police report. Court records show nine charges were filed against Williams, including domestic battery by strangulation and assault leading to domestic violence with the use of a deadly weapon. The Las Vegas Metro Police arrest report shows Williams allegedly accused her wife of being unfaithful after looking through her phone. Investigators say that led to the beating and strangulation of her wife that lasted for nearly an hour. The police report states that while Williams was strangling her wife, she told her, I'll kill you here and walk to jail myself. Investigators say Williams also allegedly threw furniture and other objects at her wife. Now, police arrested Williams and they took Williams to the hospital because she was complaining that she was actually the victim in this case. She had a busted lip and two black eyes. But when doctors examined her, they found no busted lip and no black eye. So with that being said, Williams was charged with felony domestic violence and she was arraigned. Aces guard Raquana Williams stood before Judge Rebecca Sachs in a gray Raiders shirt Wednesday morning. You are here in initial appearance court. Today the court is going to make a determination. According to Clark County court records, she was arrested Tuesday and accused of domestic violence against her wife. Chief Deputy District Attorney Glenn O'Brien started the hearing with his concerns. There are multiple uh, violent allegations against her spouse. Now, because of the seriousness of the charges, the Las Vegas Aces barred Williams from team activities and team gatherings until they got more information about this arrest. Channel 13 obtained this statement from the team that says, in part, quote, the Las Vegas Aces were made aware of domestic violence charges against a member of our team. The statement went on to say, as an organization, we condemn domestic violence of any kind. At this time, Raquana Williams will be precluded from participating in team activities. Now, shockingly enough, this wasn't the first time Williams had been involved in a domestic violence incident while playing with the WNBA. It was alleged that she had attacked her girlfriend at the time and even possibly pointed a gun at police. Check it out. Big news, LA Sparks guard Requana Williams has been suspended 10 games for allegations of domestic violence. She was arrested April 29th in Florida for allegedly assaulting her ex-girlfriend. Deputies say after they separated the two, Williams grabbed a gun and pointed it at one of them before taking off in her car. Her case is still making its way through the legal system in Florida. The WNBA conducted its own investigation and ruled a few hours ago. 
Williams, whose suspensions begins with Thursday's game against the Dallas Wings, will also have to undergo counseling. Now, with this history of domestic violence allegations, Williams was facing five felony counts of domestic battery, strangulation, coercion, and use of physical force with a weapon. She was also facing four misdemeanors for domestic battery. Now, Williams pled not guilty, but prosecutors were unable to reach Williams' wife. See, she had moved to Florida after Williams' arrest. Now, without your primary witness, the case can't go anywhere. So prosecutors had to eventually drop the charges because of the uncooperative witness. Now, after all the charges were dropped, Williams was able to rejoin the Las Vegas Aces and the domestic violence arrest seemed to go away. Now, we have to talk about the clear double standard here. Yes, local news did cover this arrest, but the national media didn't do anything with this. This wasn't on ESPN. They weren't talking about it on shows like First Take. It was essentially a non-story. Now, this is in contrast to what happens to NBA players when they're accused of domestic violence. It's all over the news. Meanwhile, Houston Rockets guard Kevin Porter Jr. was arrested and charged with assault and strangulation after allegedly assaulting his girlfriend at a New York hotel on Monday morning. That's according to a New York City police spokesperson. Prosecutors in Los Angeles formally filed charges against Hornets forward Miles Bridges on Tuesday. Bridges is facing a felony domestic violence charge and two felony child abuse charges stemming from an incident in late June. Prosecutors allege that Bridges assaulted his girlfriend in front of their two children here in Los Angeles. Bridges is out on bail and set to be arraigned on Wednesday. Now, as you can see, ESPN covered that story tremendously. It's all over the place, right? They're having segments about it. But when it comes to the WNBA player who's got two of these particular allegations, they didn't do one video. It was never covered. So clearly, there is a double standard here. Now, this was actually a big issue for ESPN. One of their hosts, Malika Andrews, she is one who always brings up when the NBA players have any assault allegations, even from their childhood. Now that it happens to be a WNBA player with multiple assault allegations, Malika Andrews and ESPN, they have nothing to say. They're totally silent. So as always, tell me where I'm wrong in the comment section. Tell me if you think there isn't a double standard and I'm thinking too much into it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all the great YouTube stuff. My name is Nate Delore and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.